Hey guys, welcome to this third video on Google Data Studio. My name is Sonila and in this video, I'm going to show you two ways in which you can use filters on Data Studio. So filters are really important. Sometimes we need to allow the users of our dashboard to interact with the uh, dashboard uh, plots uh, so that they can on their own apply different filters and uh, choose to see the data that they are interested in um, and sometimes our data in itself has some values which are not really relevant to the plot but we don't really want to delete that data from our database or our spreadsheet or wherever uh, that data is we just want to exclude that data from being displayed uh, or be shown to uh, the users so how can we uh, do both of this functionality on data studio is what I'm going to show today so if you remember from the very first uh, video that I did I showed you that here on the top there is something called a filter control so now this is one way and this using this way you can allow your uh, users of the dashboard to interact uh, with the dashboard uh, so for today what I, I just wanted to do a very simple uh, visual so I'm going to use this um, little table option that we have on data studio so I don't think in the previous two videos we looked at tables but uh, inside the different types of charts if you see there is this option called table so we can create our data uh, we can create a table and just show our data in a tabular form because sometimes that's just easy to do and uh, that does the job instead of using any complicated plots so let's say that I want to create a table and uh, the data for this let me just show you is just some data that I put together for this video it's uh, what it shows uh, are three years 2019 2018 and 2017 arranged in the descending order then I have the quarters uh, quarter one two three four if you know already uh, every year has uh, four quarters in it so uh, each number represents one quarter and they're in the ascending order and then I have two columns which are carrying some numerical data sales and revenue so that's just some random data that I have put together and that's the data that we are going to access okay so first of all if I want to start by selecting my data source here it's already selected so how we will start I will go here under data there is data source and there is select data source so I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to select my data source from here the sample spreadsheet sheet one if you see that's the one and it is already showing up here because I had already connected it but if you are connecting for the very first time you can go here create new data source you can click on that and we had seen this in the first video uh, also you can uh, choose Google Sheets option and if you do that it will show you all the different Google Sheets to which you have access to based on which Google ID uh, uh, email ID that you have used to log in so these are the ones that I have access to so you can go and choose this one and then just click on connect and if you do that it will uh, connect the spreadsheet to Google Data Studio and here it is asking me add to report and it is also showing me all these different uh, fields that I have and if you can see I can even uh, choose and change the different uh, data types if I want to do that and here also I have option of aggregation so a lot of options even before I add the data to my spreadsheet if I want to edit and change maybe the data type if or, or I want to do any aggregation then it is giving me an option to do that over here right and it's there is also some option to add a field over here which we'll look at in future so I all I did was just connected to my spreadsheet and I'm just going to do add uh, to report so if I do that then this data source was, will get connected to my report but as you can see here I have like couple of things uh, showing up here uh, maybe because I connected to it two times uh, okay so now 
that's what I have and let's see what's going on here um, so this is now automatically data studio is doing something so it's uh, completely messed up so let's try to fix this so I'm going to delete whatever is showing here on its own and for dimension I'm going to choose year as one of my dimensions and quarter as my uh, second dimension so as you can see as I'm going and adding these columns over here they are getting updated here so now here I can see my years and here I can see my quarters and then for matrix it's choosing year which was by default selected so I'm going to delete that and I'm, I'm going to show my revenue and the sales those were the columns that we saw right so I'm just going to add them over here and then uh, it is showing uh, sorting it by year over uh, we can already see that uh, it's in the descending order of the years and if I want I can do a second level of sorting also and let's say I want to sort it by quarter and I want to sort it by ascending order of quarter so I can do all of that and now I'm just going to arrange this a little bit to make the columns look better and so if you can see that at the bottom here if I go to view mode you can see that there are uh, it's showing me 1 to 12 of 12 records so there is this pagination option that is coming here and if I had more data it would take me to the next uh, page but I can scroll here and I can see all the 12 rows of data that I have uh, this first column is getting automatically populated and there is also an option to hide this if you don't uh, want to show the row number uh, okay so now let's see, uh, let's say this is my data, I have a table and I want now to give my user the option to filter on this data. So I can go here and I can choose this, uh, I click twice so two filters showed up but I just, let's say I just want to have one filter and uh, here it, it has chosen quarter but let's say I don't want quarter, I want to use year. In my filter it's that easy you just select the filter and you just in dimension you choose what is the field on which you want to give a filter option to the user so I want to give a filter on year so that's all I need to do and then I go here uh, let's say I go to view mode and let's see now what happens so it is now giving me the three uh, years that I have so I can choose them and let's say I only want to choose 2017 so the rows for 2017 show up right so as a user they can you know play around and they can choose let's say they just want to choose 2018 then they can do that and you can see that here over here you can see a number is showing up and here it's the aggregated sales that is showing up uh, another piece of data so uh, going back to edit mode uh, if I click on this one on the filter you see here it is uh, sum of sales so that's how it's it, it is able to aggregate the sales and show me in the filter drop down itself what is the sales amount so this is one way in which you can give your users an option to filter on data now I can have multiple filters I can add one more filter here and I can uh, along with year maybe I can also uh, choose uh, give option to choose them uh, choose a quarter so if I do that then now I can do let's say I, I want to choose 2018 and in the quarter I just want to see quarter number four so then it gets filtered and it shows me 2018 quarter four data right and this is very easy because I just have a little data in that spreadsheet but it may be very handy if we have hundreds and hundreds of rows of data and the user just wants to focus on the current quarter or they want to uh, just look back at one particular year or quarter in the past then it, this is very easy for them to do they can if they want they can scroll through the entire data or they can just filter 
for one particular uh, date and time and they can look at that, that data, right? So that's one way of using filters on Data Studio. Now let's look at what is another way. So if I scroll down here on the data tab, there is an option called add a filter. So this, this, is, this option is not available to the user who is using the dashboard as just as a viewer. This is only available to the person who has an edit access or who is creating the dashboard. So the user doesn't have access to it. So now, like I was saying before, let's say in my table, there is some data that I don't want to show. And so I just want to create a filter and just stop it from being displayed. So I click on create a filter over here. And then uh, I can just say test, test filter. Because I already have test filter, so I'm just naming it something. So let's say I, I want to, there are two options here, include and exclude. And let's say I want to do exclude. And I'm saying year. And you can choose from all of the four that are showing over there. And there are different conditions over here. Equal to, between, greater than. You can choose whatever you want. And I'm going to uh, filter exclude equal to 2017 so i don't want the 2017 rows to be present there on my plot at all so if i do this so now this filter is applied and on my plot here if you see the number of rows were 12 before now they're eight so now there is no there are no rows for 2017 anymore and i can still use uh, th uh, these ones because these, uh, uh, you know, these two plots, they don't have the filters applied to them. So that's why the uh, 2017 option is showing up there. But I can go over here and I can do add a filter and I can add my filter there also. So then uh, same for quarter and it will just exclude uh, my 2017 data from showing up. So if you create one filter, it can be applied to all the plots which are accessing the same data. Now, if these two filters were accessing some uh, some other uh, data, then it cannot find the field that we gave in our filter, isn't it? So because they are all uh, accessing the same data, so I just need to create the filter once and I can use it. And it, it can be used across multiple pages also. If I create two, three other pages using the same data and on all pages, I want to exclude uh, 2017 from showing up from all of my bar graphs or pie charts or tables or I can use the same filter I just need to create it once uh, so now I have done that and um, yeah so now if I go here if you can see that I have only 2018 and 19 and uh, here also the quarters are just for 2018 and 19 uh, uh, so yeah so that's uh, the two ways the those are the two ways in which you can use filters on google data studio a very very useful feature i use it all the time so i'm pretty sure that uh, it will be very helpful for you on your dashboards and uh, go ahead and try it and if you have any questions as always let me know thanks so much for watching this don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and talk to you all soon thank you